Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Unpolarized light is incident on two polarizers. The axis of polarization of both polarizers are initially parallel. The second polarizer is then rotated through 360 degree as shown. Okay, so there are two polarizers, fine. So, fine. This is the angle theta and it is rotated by 360 degree. Which graph shows the variation of intensity with angle theta of the light leaving the second polarizer? Fine. So this question is about Malus law. So what happens here is, if the intensity here is I0, this becomes I0 by 2. And the intensity that we are getting here will be I0 divided by 2 into cos square theta. Now, which law is this? This is known as Malus law. According to this law, that this intensity that is coming out of the second polaroid, which you um, sometimes call analyzer, so the intensity of the light that is coming out of analyzer is directly proportional to the square of the cosine of the angle between the axis of two polarizers. So it is cos square theta. Now the question is that on y-axis you have the intensity and on x-axis you have the theta and you are moving from 0 to 360 degrees, means 2 pi. So obviously the variation will be cos square theta, so our graph will be cos square. Now how to draw cos the square of the cosine, see. First of all, this is cos and the graph will be somewhat like this. So you can say that this is 0, this is pi by 2, this is pi, 3 pi by 2, and this is 2 pi. This is 2 pi. This is simple, y is equal to cos theta. Now when you square it, what happens is the negative value becomes a positive, And the other values, they become little more uh, sharper in their, in, in their um, appearance, but there is no big difference. So the new graph will look somewhat like this, a little more like this, and then it will be like this. Like this. So the graph will become somewhat like this. So the graph shown in the pink is cosine squared. And so let us see which option is the correct answer now. I have to move this screen. Okay. <clears throat> this much I am moving. So dear students, as we can see, this B option is definitely same as that of our pink graph. So B will be the correct answer for this question. So this is how you do it. And this is Professor Varun. Please do subscribe to YouTube channel and press the bell icon. All the best.